Hello friends, this video on solutions part 35 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. The question says Hindi's law of constant permolality of benzene at 298 Kelvin is this. The KH value is given. Calculate the solubility of methane in benzene. So blue is my benzene and I have a methane gas. Within gas. Correct. I know that the pressure which you will get here will be Kh into solubility. So the pressure which you get here is 760 mm Hg given. 760 mm of Hg. Kh is what? 4.27 into 10 to the power minus 10 to the power 5 mmHg into solubility mmHg mmHg cancel what you get is solubility as 178 into 10 to the power minus or 1.78 into 10 to the power minus 3 that is nice The question says 100 grams of liquid A is dissolved in 1000 gram of liquid B. So let this be my liquid B, this be my liquid A. A is my solute and B is my solvent. Correct. So this is A is 100 gram and this is 1000 gram. The vapor pressure of pure liquid B is found to be 500 torr. Please note the unit of pressure. Calculate the vapor pressure of pure liquid A, that is this I have to find, and its vapor pressure in the solution if the total vapor pressure is 475 torr, that is total is P1 plus P2 is 475 torr. You see both are volatile. Correct? There are two liquids A and B. So this vapor pressure of B at pure state is given. A is not given, total pressure is given. Right? I know that P total I can write is nothing but is nothing but P A plus P B. And what is P A? P A is nothing but P A naught. Let's suppose this is I let it is P A naught. This is P V naught. This is P A plus P V. Right? P A naught into X A plus P B naught into X B. Correct? So here you see we note this value of P total. That is 475 torr. Right? P A naught is something which we don't know. This is something which we have to find. X A we can actually find out, right? X A is nothing but if you see moles of A by moles of A plus moles of B. What is the moles of A? Moles of A is mass of A by molar mass of A. So mass of A is given 100 gram. By molar mass of A is given 140 gram per mole. Divide by again moles of A that is 100 by 140. And moles of B is mass of B that is 1000 gram and molar mass of B 180 gram. Correct. So when you solve this, you get XA as 0. 0.114. So I have XA. XB will be nothing but 1 minus XA. So XB will be nothing but 1 minus XA. There is nothing but 1 minus 0 0.114. There is nothing but 0.886. So I have the value of XB also. PV naught is given 500 torr. So we can actually find the value of P. Let's put the value. P total is nothing but 475 torr. Please put the uh, units. Is PA naught? I don't know. Into XA is 0 0.114. Plus PV naught is given 500 torr. Into XB is 
0.886. You solve this equation, you get PA not as nothing but 280.7 and that is my answer. The question is we have to find the pressure of A in pure form. So the question says benzene and toluene forms ideal solution for the entire range. The vapor pressure of pure benzene and pure toluene is given. So let's assume, assume this is my benzene and this is my toluene. Correct. So the vapor pressure of the pure benzene is given. That is, this value is given, fifty point seven one, and pure toluene is also given. That is, thirty two point zero six. We have to find the mole fraction of benzene in vapor phase. That means I have to find y two actually. If eighty gram of benzene is mixed with hundred gram of toluene. See, eighty gram of benzene is mixed with hundred gram of toluene. That means I can find the molar concentration of X one X two very easily. Correct? Because mass of benzene is given, molar mass of benzene I know. Mass of toluene is given, molar mass of toluene I know. I can easily find the molar fraction of this. If I find the molar fraction of uh, benzene and toluene, I can find the pressure of benzene and toluene in the vapor phase. If I can find the pressure of benzene and toluene in the vapor phase. I can easily find the mole fraction. So mole fraction of two will be what? P two by P one plus P two, right? And that will come out to be point six for benzene. I'll not solve this question for you. We have solved a similar kind of question. You can try on your own. Where it is given that the initial pressure of uh, benzene and toluene in the pure state is given, the mole fraction is given, right? I mean the mole fraction you can find actually because eighty gram of benzene and hundred gram of toluene is used. With that, you can find the actual partial pressure of benzene and toluene in the in the vapor phase of the solution. Once you find the partial pressure of benzene and toluene, then you can easily find the concentration of benzene in the vapor phase. That will come out to be 0.6, the molar fraction. Just for your reference, if I want, I can just tell you the mole fraction of benzene, the mole fraction of benzene in the solution will Come out to be 0.486, and mole fraction of toluene. This is benzene. Toluene will come out to be 0.514. These values. Correct. If you talk about the partial pressure, partial pressure of benzene will come out to be 24.645 mm of Hg, and partial pressure of toluene will come out to be 16.48. Mm of Hg. These guys. You can actually solve it. The air is a mixture of number of gases. The major component of air is oxygen and nitrogen. With the proportion of twenty percent is to seventy nine percent by volume at two ninety eight kelvin. Right. It says that we have air. In air we have mostly oxygen and nitrogen. So this guy is twenty two percent, twenty percent. This guy is seventy nine percent by volume, by volume at a given temperature. The water is in equilibrium with air at a pressure of ten atmospheric pressure. There is a there is a air here, there is a water here, right? And this water is in equilibrium with air. There is a air here. Please note the water is in equilibrium with Air at the pressure of ten atmospheric pressure. At two ninety eight, if the Henry law constant for oxygen and nitrogen is given, this is ten to the power seven. This is ten to the power seven. We have to find the composition of these gases in water. I have to find the composition of these gases in water ratio. See, it's it's a little weird question. So when you say water is in equilibrium with air at ten atmospheric pressure, that means that means the pressure of air here is how much? Ten atmospheric pressure. So pressure here is ten atmospheric pressure. But please note this pressure is in atm. And this constant has the pressure in mm. So let's convert this pressure of air, ten atmospheric pressure, to mm of Hg. That is nothing but 
7610 mm of hg so i'll write this guy as 76 double zero let me write correct so here what is happening is we have an air here and air we have nitrogen and oxygen this is 20 percent this is 79 percent by volume this is the concentration of nitrogen and oxygen in this air we have to find the concentration of oxygen and concentration of nitrogen in this water solution hope you understand the question the concentration of nitrogen and oxygen by volume is given in this air and this air is in equilibrium with water and the pressure here total pressure here is 7600 mm of hg so let's see this now right, the pressure of air is 7600 mm hg so pressure of oxygen will be how much here because see pressure is directly proportional to volume i mean See, if the volume is 20%, the pressure will be, by nitrogen will be 20% of this. Sorry, oxygen was 20% and nitrogen is 17%. So, pre partial pressure of oxygen will be 20% of 7600 mm of Hg. And that will be nothing but 1520 mm of Hg. Similarly, partial pressure due to nitrogen here in this area will be what? 79 percent because nitrogen is 79 percent of this total pressure and that will be nothing but 6004 mm of hg the other pressure which you get will be because of other gas because if you see there is a one percent sorry 11 percent gap 80 no, one percent okay, one percent gap yeah so this is the partial pressure of nitrogen here 6004 mm of hg and this 1520 mm of hg is nothing but partial pressure of oxygen here. Now we know that as per Henry law, partial pressure of oxygen here will be what? Kh into mole fraction of oxygen in water. Correct? That is what we have seen. And we have to find mole fraction of oxygen here. So mole fraction of oxygen is nothing but partial pressure of oxygen divided by kh for oxygen what is the partial pressure of oxygen 1520 mm of hg divided by kh for oxygen first one that is 3.3 .3 into 10 to the power 7 mm of hg both will get cancelled correct similarly i have to find the mole fraction of nitrogen it will be what partial pressure of nitrogen by a mole fraction of nitrogen if you want we can find the value of this partial pressure of nitrogen was 6004 mm of hg divided by k is nothing but 6.51 into 10 to the power 7 mm of hg this gets cancelled we want to get as 9.22 into 10 to the power minus and this also you can calculate the value. So this is how you find the mole fraction. Pretty complicated question to understand the question. The question is saying that you have an air here. Air has 20% by volume oxygen and 17% by volume nitrogen. And we have to find the concentration of oxygen and nitrogen in this water, water solution. Given that the total pressure here is 10 atm. The first thing is to understand the question then convert this ATM into mm of Hg. The question says determine the amount of calcium chloride I is equal to be given 2.47 dissolved in 2.5 liter of water such that the osmotic pressure is 0.75 ATM at 27 degrees Celsius. So phi is nothing but I n by V R T. This formula we know I is given. 2.47 right n is what moles of solute that is mass of solute by molar mass so mass is something you have to find right v is what given 2.5 liter r is we know t is to 27 degrees celsius convert into kelvin 300 kelvin 
So let's put the value. Pi is what? Given there is osmotic pressure 0.75 atm. Is nothing but I is given 2.47 into N is nothing but mass of CaCl2 by molar mass of CaCl2. And what is the value of that? CaCl2 molar mass we want to find calcium is 40, chlorine is 35.5 into 2, that is 71 plus 40, 111 gram per mole. Right? R is since it is an ATM, N by V. First B, B is uh, 2.5 liter. Then R, R since this is an ATM, right? So R will be 0 0.0821, and then T is 3 liter. Please note the value of R since it is a, this pressure is an atmospheric pressure. I have taken 0 0.0821. You solve this, you get mass of CaCl2 as nothing but 3.43 gram. The question is, we have to determine the osmotic pressure of a solution prepared by dissolving 25 milligram, please note milligram of K2SO4 in 2 liter of water at 25 degrees Celsius, assuming it is completely disassociated. We know the formula pi is nothing but I n by V R T. N we can calculate because we know the mass of solute, we also know the molar mass of solute. V is something we know, 2 liter. R we can easily find, we know that. Temperature is given 25 degrees Celsius, nothing but 25 plus 273, that is 298 Kelvin. So T is also we know. Only thing we don't know is I. To know the I, it is been given that it is completely disassociated. That means I have K2SO4, it will give me 2K plus and SO4 2 minus. So at T is equal to 0, if it is 1, at T is equal to T, it will become 0, it will become 2, it will become so I will be what? The final concentration that is 3, 2 plus 1, 3 by initial concentration that is 1 that is final value of I also. So let's find the value of pi. I is 3 into N is nothing but moles of solute that is moles of K2SO4 that is nothing but mass of K2SO4 by molar mass of K2SO4. So mass of K2SO4 is nothing but 25 milligram that is nothing but 25 into 10 to the power minus 3 gram. So 25 into 10 to the power minus 3 gram it has to be in gram by molar mass of K2SO4 is nothing but 174 gram per mole. You can actually find it. K2SO4 potassium 2, 2 into 39, sulfur 32 plus 32, oxygen 4, 4 into 16. You solve, add it, you get 174 gram per mole. Right? N is done. Volume is 2 liter. 1 by 2 liter and then R R now we have to find the, the pressure in atmosphere let's suppose ATM it is not given so let's find in ATM so R will be 0 0.0821 and T is what 298 Kelvin okay. so you solve this you get 5.27 into 10 to the power minus 3 ATM and that is my Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online tests, get free study materials, find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.